Hello, and welcome to my channel, Planners by Christine. Today we're going to talk about how to create stickers in Keynote, including how to make them transparent. First of all, let's open Keynote, create presentation, choose a theme, classic white will be fine. We'll delete these, then go up to the three dots, document setup, slide size, custom. I'm going to use the size of my screen, so 2360, by 2048, done, done. And then you can click on the three dots to make that go away. And here's our screen. So first we're going to create functional stickers. And to do that, you'll press the plus sign, choose a table. Now we only need one column. And then I'm gonna make it a little smaller. Let's just put it in the middle for working. So make it the size that you want. Then if you tap on the paintbrush icon, you can make changes to it. Go to cell, cell border. And right now you see it's highlighting the outside of it, the outline of it. So we're gonna make that thicker and take it to 10. Then we'll change our color and you can choose whatever color you want. Back, now I'm gonna choose the center lines and I'm gonna thicken them a little bit, not as much as the outside and go to color and do the same color. Back. And now you can see you kind of have a basic look and if you want it thicker you can come over here go to cell cell border make sure that line is selected and make it thicker so just keep just play around with it until it's a look that you like i'm going to make this the inside lines a little thicker okay now this is going to be for like a to-do list and so i want little circles along here so i'm going to press plus go to the shapes choose a circle and make it smaller so that it looks good in the middle of this. And I want the color to match. So I'm gonna to go to the paintbrush icon, fill, color, and choose the same color. So now I'm gonna tap on this and choose copy and paste. Put that underneath. Then I'm gonna tap on it and choose select objects and choose both of them. Done. Copy, paste, and I'm gonna choose copy now I'm gonna, I wanna select all of them, so I'm gonna tap on one, choose select objects and select all five, done. Then go to arrange and I want to align them left, which they already are, and then I'm gonna align them vertically. So once you get them all lined up, then what you can do is select everything. So I'm gonna tap here, select objects, since this is the only thing on my screen, I'm gonna select all, done, and then I'm going to group them. So now it will move all as one piece. And I'm gonna select it, copy and paste, and then paste again so that I have three. Then I'm gonna to go to this one, ungroup, and then I'm going to select the table and go to cell, cell border, and choose this one so the whole thing will be selected. And then I can change the color. I'm gonna do, I'll just do this kind of reddish color. And then I wanna select the circle. So I'm gonna select one and choose select objects and then select all five, done. And then come up to style and choose the same color. And then come over here, ungroup, select the table, cell, cell border, choose the one that has all the lines highlighted, go to color, choose this green, select the circles, select objects, and choose all five, done. Go to the fill and choose the same color. So there we have three functional stickers and these we're not gonna want to be transparent. We want the white behind here. So what you can do is you can create different stickers from objects that are available within Keynote. So if you press the plus sign. These are some of our basic shapes. For example, there's a star. So maybe you want to have a star. So you select it, you can make the size different. Then you go to the paintbrush and you can change the color. And I'm just going to choose a yellow. Then go back to the plus sign and go to, you can go to geometry. You can see all the different shapes. There's objects. And in here, you can see if there's any objects that you like that you want to create a sticker out of animals, nature. I like nature because flowers. So I'm gonna tap this flower and I'm gonna choose a color for it. So I'll go to the paintbrush, fill, color, do kind of a purple, then go back to the plus sign and you can see all the other ones in here. I'm gonna do a sunshine, make it a little bit larger, go to the paintbrush, fill, color, go back to the plus sign. We've got food, so there's lots of food options here. Symbols, and there's a heart, so of course that could be a good sticker. And I'm gonna go to the paintbrush, fill, color, and I'll choose red. Maybe you wanna do like an arrow or something, but they don't have the exact arrow you want. So what I did is I came down here and I found this arrow. 
and you can turn it. So I'm gonna go to paintbrush, arrange, and there's rotate. So I'm gonna choose 90 degrees, but I want it to be an arrow that, that kind of comes out like this. And so what I'm gonna do and what I have done is if I go to the basic shapes, I can grab a square and just kind of put it next to it and just line them up next to each other. It's hard to make, it is a little bit tricky to make it so that there's not a little bump here. So sometimes what you can do is if you select one of them, if you go to arrange, you can go to size and position and you can kind of nudge it that way. So there's an arrow, so you can just kind of nudge it that way. All right, so what you can do then is if you want to change the color, then select the first side and choose the color that you want and then choose the same color for this side. And then if you tap one side, select objects, tap the other, done, then go to arrange, you can group them. It'll move as one piece. If you want it to be a skinnier one, you can choose constrain proportions. You can make it narrower without the whole thing shrinking. Let's go back to our plus sign. What else do we have here? Back to symbols. See if there's anything else we want to use. I think you get the idea on that, so I don't need to show you any others. But as you see in Keynote, there's a lot of icons that come with it that you can play with and you can change the colors or combine things and make it the way you want it. Another one you can do, if you take a basic box, basic square, and you elongate it and you change the color, and then what you can do is then go to your plus sign and go to circle and make the circle smaller and then uh, change the color of the circle to white and you can copy and paste it and then copy both of those. Let's go ahead and select all of them so we can distribute those evenly. So we'll select one and choose select objects and choose the others done and on a range we will align on the same side and then we will align vertically and we can drag the whole group and what you can do then is group the whole thing you can go like this and grab the whole thing at once choose group and then you can copy it and paste and then on this one you would ungroup it and select the box and go to style and change the color and so then there's two of these. Another one you can do is if you go to the plus sign and go to the box for the square and stretch it out this way, what we're going to do is we're going to give it a border. So I'm gonna to go to the paintbrush. Right now there's no border, so I'm gonna give it a border. I'm gonna put a color on the border and we're going to, we wanna make the border a little bit thicker. So we're gonna increase that. And then we're going to change the color fill to a white and I want the border to be a little bit thicker. So we'll go wider. And then what we can do is put a little box in front of it. This is just kind of a sticker that some people like. So let me grab another square, put it in front of it like that and go to the color and grab the same color. And there we go. And then you can group that, copy it, ungroup it, change the color, just like we did on these other ones. So as you can see, there's a lot of ways you can create stickers just within Keynote itself, functional stickers and some decorative stickers. Now you're wondering how can you make it so it's transparent? So then what you do is if you tap on this background, you choose no fill. Now it's gonna be black, but when you export it as an image, there's just, there's no background. Now, as you see, it's not going to be a background on these either. So what I would do is I would actually have a separate page to do the ones with the background, the ones without. So I'm actually going to go back to the white fill. I'm gonna to go to here and I'm gonna duplicate this and then on this one I'm going to select all these objects and delete them so this one I'll have a white background but then this one I'll delete all of those and this one I will have no fill so this these will be transparent and these won't be transparent so now what I'm going to do is go to the 
three dots and choose export images. I'm going to choose PNG and you see where it says transparent backgrounds. So I'm going to, I want to keep that transparent background. So then I'm going to export it and I'm going to save it in, in my files. Let's see. And this is saving it on my iCloud drive. I'm going to actually save it on my iPad. So it's important to know where you're saving things so you can find them later. Let's create a new folder, Keynote stickers, and we'll save them in there. Now, if I come out of here and I go into my files and go to my iPad and go to Keynote stickers, and there they are. So once we have our sticker sheets, the next thing we want to do is open GoodNotes, go to New, Quick Note, and I have a template that I use. Then click on the three dots and do the split screen and go to your file. Then if you hold your finger on it, and once this thing comes up on the right, you can drag it in and make it a little bit larger, go to Crop. See how the background is gray? That helps you to know that it is transparent. So then you just come down here and you crop each sticker. and you can crop it more. Once you crop it once, it's easier to zoom in and to make it a little more precise if you care to. And then do it again. And just go through and crop all your stickers. On this one, when you bring it in, when you go to crop this one, it's got a white background as you see because this is not one we did transparent. The second time you go to crop it, it's gonna be a little more, it's gonna be larger so you can be more precise in getting it cropped right to the edge. So crop all your stickers. Once you're ready to crop it, you tap on the share icon. If there's only one page, you just export that page. There are multiple pages, you would export all. And then you'll wanna choose good notes and export and then make sure and save it someplace where you can find it later. So save it to your files and then wherever you want to save it and uh, give it a name. And then you'll have a good notes file with pre-crop stickers that you can either use yourself or you can sell on Etsy. Now I'm going to have additional tutorials where I show you how to create transparent stickers in Procreate as well as Canva. So make sure and subscribe so that you know when those are available. And if you have any questions, please put those in the comments and I will do my best to answer them. But thank you for watching and I hope you found this helpful.